Hello, everyone. Where we are. Here we are. Where we are. Near and far. Uh, my name is Baratunde Rafiq Thurston, and uh, I'm a storyteller who grounds all of my work in stories of interdependence. You're very at home here telling stories of our relationship with nature, with each other, and with technology. So yes, please check out PBS America Outdoors, and the podcast is How To Citizen, Citizen as a Verb, um, because it's about what we do that makes us who we are. I learned something about this building. First women's club in the Bay Area. What's up, Bay Area? Bay Area. There we go. There we go. Claudia's always down to dance. Just give her a chance. And even if you don't, she'll take it. This was the first women's club uh, in this region. The architect was a woman named Julia Morgan. Um, and thanks to Cat Levin, I learned that it is entirely concrete. Everything that looks like it's wood is concrete. You can't always trust what you see. <laughs> and during the great earthquakes in the early 1900s, Julia's 700 buildings were the ones that kept standing. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Imagine how much stronger this area would be if we had more women architects designing the city. That's right. Woo! Woo! So, I've been on a journey. Um, we all have. I came into this gathering straight from a place called Aquasase mm -hmm. and had a beautiful chance to sit with elders for five straight days and then land into this. <laughs> so y'all have really done a mind trip <laughs> on me and I put some words to what used to be paper. It's now this floating supercomputer in my hand. Apologies for the glow but allow me to see if I can let some words flow. Yeah. It feels like we've been here for not three days, but three years. And have you interacted with the squirrels around here? <laughs> they will stare you down. <laughs> they will take your lunch money while rocking out to local honey. I feel like the universe is trying to tell me something, trying to tell us something, that we're not the one thing that matters, that there's life in all matter, that it's nature and not corporations that should have rights. As Sammy said, the question isn't how can a river have rights? The question is how can it not? We have missed the plot when we forgot that nature can't be sold and bought. I'm so glad this gathering had more than just a smattering of indigenous and elder voices. Big up the programmatic choices. <laughs> like Grandma Dolores telling us like it is. <laughs> we should be educating our kids about labor. And Chief Warren Lyons did us a big favor, reminding us that the indigenous people welcome the settlers not just with food and shelter, but democracy. The Europeans brought the word, but it's here they found the practice, a freedom long established where women and nature help keep balance and make peace. He said humans are like fleas and the dog is about to shake. Then all this was foretold if we just listened to Handsome Link. Thank you, Kenny, for bringing up the doctrine of discovery, which began with the papal bull, more like papal bullshit that started all this shit and tried to make legit behavior that ain't fit for creation that truly honors all our relations. You see, discovery is a cover for domination hiding behind religious justification to expand and establish so-called nations. What we call history is often just conflation. Mm, yeah. An attempt to elevate subjugation or rebrand extermination. The trick is that domination sounds strong, but it covers for weakness. Constantly urgent, constantly seeking, despite thinking it's sound, it has no reason. And it still hasn't found what it's looking for. Our founding fathers made some founding falters, placed the wrong things on altars, like greed. 
Grandma Casey all but called these bankers out as false-hearted thieves. Said science is finally starting to catch up to indigenous ways of being. And can I just say I want to go into battle with Colette. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's time for the American way of life to come correct. We rocked with her message and the crowd was just vibing. 2013 ain't the end. Say it with me. It's a liberation horizon. But then I think of the opening words of Nina Simon. To compost saviorism, reject reactive overcommitment, acknowledge that there is a schism between overdoing and finding a space to just be. In my mind, popcorns to conversations with the hearts of Claudia Pena and Matariki. Yeah. Claudia invoked the spirit of Smokey, the ironically named shirtless bear. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Said our mass alienation is a call to care for land and people and people of the land. Abolishing prisons a fine way to take a stand. Taylor Burby's getting invited to the cookout. <laughs> this man has got us on the lookout for obscene interpretations of obscenity laws which see marginalized people as pollution, as flawed, when we are the solutions, good God, yeah, he's definitely in the delegation. <laughs> Cindy scared us about the internet's buying. Made me a little scared, I'm not lying. But the flip side is a right to repair and interoperability, not just between us and our devices, but between us and all species. Yeah. Stacy told us to fix the internet. I say hand it over to the fungi in the trees. <laughs> What Suzanne and Merlin found is what we need, not so much a discovery as a recollection that these trees are our lungs beyond our bodies helping us breathe, also inviting the wind to make it rain, so I might have to take them to Vegas with me. <laughs> Sometimes I feel despair, you see? A sense of overwhelm overtakes me, but being here reminds me to look to the more than human world. And sometimes what I see are former girls like Sage and Charlotte, who are so much more than human. Sage, whose name is a bit on the nose, don't you think? She said, our own self in our own self-destruction, we're an unwitting army, but there's a sound response, and that's a circular economy. Either we change everything, or we vanish. But I say, hand her and Charlotte the keys, and we'll manage. <laughs> Seriously, I don't understand half of what Charlotte said. <laughs> like, legit. For real. And it's not because I'm dumb. It's because she created her own language from inside her head. Yeah. That is one-up womanship. Is what it is. But I trust her. That's how I feel about the earth, our mother. And I trust us when we trust us, the greater us that we must embrace the lines of separation that we must erase. So the water flows at its desired pace and we ensure that there is still a place for the seventh generation from today. My heart is full, my mind is fried. I couldn't feel more joy even if I tried. I'd be lying if I said that I hadn't cried. It feels like we have been here, not for three days, but three years. I am so glad I joined you, Crazy Bionics. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.